NASCAR has stripped Austin Dillon of his playoff eligibility as they hammer him for the finish at Richmond on Sunday night, plus Joey Logano given a hefty fine. Welcome back to Break Hard. I'm Matt. NASCAR has absolutely hammered Austin Dillon for his finish at Richmond Raceway on Sunday night as he wrecked Joey Logano and Denny Hamlin en route to victory. NASCAR has ruled that he is no longer playoff eligible. The three car will get to keep the trophy. The record books will say that he has five career wins and he won on Sunday night at Richmond. However, that win does not lock him in to the playoffs as it currently stands. NASCAR gave a reason for this. NASCAR says that Austin Dillon violated section 12.3 point two point one point b of the nascar rulebook which deals with the playoff eligibility in state and states quote race finishes must be unencumbered by violation or violations of the nascar rules or other actions detrimental to stock car racing or nascar as determined in the sole discretion of nascar so what does that mean it means that nascar just didn't like what they saw and decided that this was a penalty there's not necessarily a rule that says hey if you wreck two competitors you get your playoff eligibility stripped instead nascar says it's up to our discretion judge jury and executioner to decide whether or not that this was in the lines and they decided that this went beyond that line that Elton Sawyer talked about on Sunday night after the race at Richmond. He has also been docked 25 driver points and 25 owner points, dropping him from 26 back to 31st in the driver's standings. Not great for Austin Dillon. Now, this is not exactly a shock in the sense that I thought NASCAR would do something I didn't expect them to take the win away. I really did not. I thought they would give him a points penalty. I thought they might give him a monetary fine. This is an unprecedented move in a sense, but I think it establishes a line. I think it sets a precedent, and I think it's exactly what NASCAR needed to do in this situation. In the situation! You cannot have drivers going out there and intentionally wrecking two other competitors just so that they can get to the finish line in time. That's just not NASCAR. It's not in the spirit of the rules. It's not what Dale Earnhardt would have done, contrary to what all the comments say. It's just over the line. Elton Sawyer says, I think in all due respect to the appeal process, we looked at this in its totality of everything that happened. And as you enter turn three and as the cars got to the start finish line, so we look at this and look at all the data. We came to the conclusion that a line had been crossed. Our sport has been based going on for many, many years, forever on good, hard racing. Contact has been acceptable. We felt like in this case that that line was crossed. And I think he's correct. There, I think a line was crossed. If he just dumps Logano, goes on to win the race, this, yeah, is it dirty? Sure, because it's not really a bump and run, it's a dump and run, but I think people get over that pretty quickly. The fact that he did this video game type of finish, like he was in NASCAR Heat 5, just bashing and making sure that he got to the finish line first, that's where things take a, you know, a, a bit of a turn, and I think a penalty had to be issued in that situation. Austin Dillon's spotter Brandon Banesh has also been suspended for three races for the directions that he gave over the radio at the finish of that race, where he said, quote, wreck him. Coming down, 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 right there. So he's going to get three weeks off and uh, that seems like a fair penalty as well. NASCAR today's video is sponsored by Driven Sunglasses. Hat and shirt on today. Head over to drivensunglasses.com. Check out what they have on offer. Use code BREAKCAR for 20% off plus free shipping. I am very much a fan of the classic sunglasses as well as the camber sunglasses. These ones right here. So drivensunglasses.com. Josh Berry, SVG, myself, we all wear them. See if they have a pair that fits you today. Are also fined Joey Logano $50,000 for his post-race pit road antics where he pulled up in front of the three team, did a burnout, uh, drove at the team and had to have them hop out of the way, does a burnout, and then just got absolutely scolded by NASCAR officials. That feels very much in line with what I thought he would get. Honestly, thought it might be more. Thought it might be 75. dollars Could have even seen them giving a $100,000 fine because it was pretty egregious for what he did. I think he had, like I said before, in the moment, he had a realization moment where he was like, I messed up bad here. But hey, NASCAR has ruled, and I think that they got it right this time. They needed to set a precedent. They needed to set a standard, and you can't do this. One guy, okay, fine. We can all maybe live with that, depending on how dirty it is, where he you know, intentionally wrecks two guys. And I know people in the comments are going to be like, Denny wrecked himself. Denny did not. Denny was following the racing line. Austin Dillon was taking a, a line that nobody else had taken all night, which then crossed over what the racing line was, hooked Denny Hamlin into the wall and, and caused that. I know people are going to be upset, but that's just what it is. Even look at the SMT data. So NASCAR, I think, got it right. 
in this situation. I'm glad that they I'm glad that they ruled. Yeah, it took too long. This probably should have been a ruling that came out on Tuesday when the typical penalty report comes out. But 4 p.m. on a Wednesday afternoon, I guess, is better than never to to get this. So for Austin Dillon, it sucks for him. It sucks for that three team. Yeah, they get to keep the win. They're no longer in the playoffs for Bubba Wallace. That's great for him. For Ross Chastain, great for him as well. And now over the next three weeks, Austin's going to have to try to get back to victory lane. And hey, he's won at Daytona before. Um, maybe he can get another crown jewel and win the Southern 500. But I think they had to do something in this case. And I have no qualms with what they did uh, in terms of the penalty to both Joey Logano and, and Austin Dillon. So let me know in the comments what you think about the penalties. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at Break Hard, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Break Hard Blog.